we are going to see how we can waive off our current bill whatever has been charged to us so basically i have been receiving mails from aws that i haven't paid the, this specific amount so why actually i am being charged amount on a free tier account so the one of the reason here is like i have used uh, multiple services and i might have exhausted the daily quota that's the reason that i have been charged it since it is a very less money uh, we can definitely waive it off okay so what's the process we are going to learn in this specific one right so uh, for that specific thing what you need to do is you need to first log in with your uh, root user right then you need to go to this specific question mark if once you logged in okay so and here you need to click on support center so this is the place where you will be creating tickets and you will be talking with the agent right so here you need to click on create case okay and here once you create case you will see the active cases over here before uh proceeding with this specific demonstration i have created few cases but for your understanding i will be showing you one how you can create one and what are the things that you need to write okay now since this is an accountant billing section we'll click accountant uh, we are going to select accountant billing post that we are going to select billing into service and the subcategory would be dispute or charge because we want to waive off the service right next it click on next additional information and here you need to write a subject so it's just a basic thing that you can write so you just need to write wave off wave of aws uh, uh, amount okay so this is the basic subject that you can write okay excuse me all right so this is the basic uh, subject that you can write over here and here post that you need to write a description where you are just elaborating why you want to pay before right so basically you just need to write that you are just a uh, student who was exploring the aws services and you don't know how actually it did uh, incur these charges right so that's the reason uh, so that's the reason uh you are just mentioning all the things in the description right so what template i used to so basically i just wrote hi aws support team uh i have been using aws from uh from months and i have just received few uh information that i have been charged with xyz amount in my case it was 217.66 inr so that amount i wrote and i would request you to kindly wave it off because i was just exploring and i don't know how did it charge me so just elaborate it and just click on uh and here you need to define the time frame so for me it was september and october and once done i click on next to solve contact once done you can even opt out from this recommended field and click on next and contact us okay so for now i'll just write hi and click on next okay i'll show you what template i used i'm just going to see you the flow whatever thing that we can do and here you need to click on contact us and click on web phone and chat i tried all the three methods but the best one which you can go for is web and chat okay and even you can go for uh, phone either if you select or web or phone you will definitely receive one call and i received one call from joseph uh, where he actually helped me in uh, resolving this dispute let me say uh, share you all the contacts that we have earlier so when i go to the support request you can uh, go you can see the active support request which are currently there so while i created the initial ticket in that thing that was actually assigned to joseph and uh, what happened was he actually called me earlier and uh, i was occupied with some tasks so i actually missed that call so post that he again tried me so what conversation we had so basically we had a chat conversation over the console itself and here we were actually demonstrating how actually things were right so let me just go to all, all the way to the bottom and here uh, let me click on load more so you can see all the conversation which we had so as i mentioned earlier we actually defined uh, what was the description and the subject that i wrote for contacting joseph so basically i just wrote that i am a student and i have been using this specific service for learning purpose and uh, could you please wave off my bill and then i just told them that uh, right now i'm not sure about the services so i kept them uh, kept it as blank and the total amount if you want to wave off for a specific month you can definitely go for it however i was not sure whether i was charged on september and october so i wrote both september and october in the time frame post that joseph tried to contact me and uh, he then told me that uh, uh there are few things that you need to do so basically i uh, uh, when we had a conversation and asked him to can you please list down all the services uh, which are currently up and running so that i can just terminate them uh, along with the steps how to do it so basically he wrote another mail where he actually shared me all the details so basically there were two services which were currently running so basically there was a db snapshot that was currently active since september 24th and 
that I had to delete, which I followed with the steps uh, which were shared by Joseph. Followed by there was a load balancer which was running. So there I deleted one uh, load balancer with the canonical name. So there are two methods which were shared. Either you can uh, delete it with the load balancer GUI or with CLI. So I followed the GUI method and deleted it. And then post that I just uh, give, gave a heads up to Joseph that I have deleted the load balancer and the DB snapshot as mentioned in the mail. Post that I just also asked him that uh, whether is there any active service which is currently running. So I just asked him to check at his end whether anything is running. If yes, uh, please let me know. If not, then you can please wait it off. So then he just shared another mail. He confirmed that uh, on uh, all the services are terminating and there you won't be charged any extra amount right so i and and then he confirmed he asked me three questions uh, regarding this documentation which he shared me so i just responded him on the same and that that was all the conversation we had so you also received the updates of that specific thing over the mail itself okay so this is how the mail you, uh, you will receive from aws uh you won't be able to reply this on this specific one right all the conversation you need to do is through this specific console itself right so that is how you will be able to close the specific uh, uh ticket take any action okay so what method works best for you so basically it depends uh, for me it was both web and phone and uh, it was uh, like and joseph did help me a lot in resolving the issue so uh shout out to joseph and yeah so that was all uh like once the dispute is completed it will change the status accordingly initially it was in progress and now it is customer action completed so because there was one action pending from me he was asking me for the confirmation and i did share the thing and that is how you close a ticket in AWS console while chatting with the support and you can pay off your existing balances, whatever are there in your AWS account. Yeah, that was all. Uh, see you in the next one.